Hello. Today we're going to be using Nmap to find VTAM applications unauthenticated. Before I get started though, I'm going to show you what VTAM looks like. Here in front of me I have a 3270 emulator called X3270. It's free and open source. You can compile it on your own or you can use, I just used Brew to install this. I'm going to connect to my mainframe and get presented with a screen that looks very similar to what you might find on a corporate network mainframe. You know, some warning, maybe the name of the system or whatnot. There are a lot more colorful options, of course, but this is normally what you'd see. From here, I might just type in TSO, which will take me to a login screen, and then I can log in to the mainframe. That's normally how you would just log into TSO. So we know TSO exists, and all we had to do was type the TSO command. But what else can we connect to? So let's see here. If I try to type in kicks, nothing. If I try to type in anything else, fake nothing. What I'm going to do instead is use a command called IBM test. IBM test is a command used to confirm that you're actually in VTAM. From here I know that I can use the logon command to access applications. So to do this you type logon apple ID and then an application name. So for example I know TSO exists. Okay TSO works. Let's disconnect. Now we're going to reconnect. I'm going to try again. Log on Apple ID Kix TS42, which is the name of the Kix transaction server. And sure enough, Kix does exist. It just has a name that we wouldn't expect. Now, mind you, if I disconnect again and connect and try to type Kix TS42 right here, it actually doesn't work. So you need to supply the log on Apple ID command to connect to that actual application. Last one here, we're going to try one more. What, what happens if I create an Apple ID that doesn't exist? Kicks me right off the system. Now this is using a what's called a USS table that interprets commands and lets you issue VTAM commands. Sometimes you may encounter a mainframe which has no default application installed. So you're presented with a screen that looks like this. I've seen this in a couple of instances. You see a screen that you think, oh man, i got to log in. That's not actually the case. You can actually just type in the application here and it'll take you to the same screen. However, there is one caveat with using this screen. If I connect and try to type IBM test, it doesn't work. If I do the same thing and try to type in kicks, it doesn't work. If I try again to do kicks TS42, it works. Right, so what it's doing is it's replacing the log on Apple ID command with an application command that you're issuing. Now that you've seen me try to guess application names by hand, what we're going to do is use Nmap to automate this entire thing. So here we have Nmap that I compiled recently. Now we can use this version of Nmap to confirm that the ports that we used before are still open. So we can do this. Now I'm going to turn off hostname resolution very fast. Let's also turn on service detection and you can see, yep, the TN3270 server is running on both ports. Here we can actually use the TN3270 script, TN3270 screen, to grab screenshots so it should look exactly the same as we saw before. So here you have the entry user ID and we also have the warning screen. From here we're going to use the VTAM enumeration script VTAM enum. So let's delete that. VTAM enum. From here we're going to pass it a couple of script arguments. First we're going to pass it the ID list argument. The ID list argument allows you to pass a flat file which contains application IDs you wish to find. Next we're going to pass it the path argument. The path argument allows you to save screenshots of valid application IDs so you don't have to reconnect to the mainframe. We're going to use the screenshots folder to save screenshots. And we'll turn up verbosity so you can see what's going on. After we hit enter, you can see it's trying various application IDs, and we're done. Here you can see we have three valid application IDs. We saw TSO already, Kix TS42 we knew existed, but A06 TSO is new. So this script actually went through quite a few application IDs in a short period of time. However, if you look at the output, you can see the script only worked on port 23. On port 23 it found three valid application IDs, but on port 2323 you'll remember 
it's that login screen that was like no default application specified, it actually didn't work. And that's because the script is using the logon apple ID command to try to guess application IDs, which doesn't work on that screen. So instead, we're going to have to use another argument called macros. So I'm going to do vtam-enum.macros equals true. And we'll leave verbosity the same. And you should see it's able to find valid application IDs on both now. So here, using the application IDs, it's able to find the macro TSO on the first one. We saw that in the demonstration. And on here, it found kicks TS42 and TSO. But this time, instead of issuing log on Apple ID, it just sent the bare application ID. From here, you could use the other scripts that are included with MAP, such as Kix transaction ID enumeration, TSO user enumeration, TSO brute force, Kix user ID enumeration, Kix user ID brute forcing to help further break into the mainframe. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below.